Who? Making some wands for Etsy. I'll be selling a pair of wands with an autographed uh, album cassette tape. I gotta get the wands made first. They're both gonna be marble handled wands. I have a smaller one and a longer one. I've been sipping on my jalapeno wine that I made you know, over the last couple of days, and I think it's tasty. I put like cookie, chocolate chip cookies in it, uh, bananas, uh, green monster energy, jalapenos, sugar and honey, you know, you saw the video, you know what's up. There is a sweetness to it, and I did not know this, but when I poured it in there, the jalapenos had carrots in there, so I'm like, alright, fuck it, we're just gonna throw it in there, because it's it was a Halloween mead that I was making. I like, make, I like making my own wine. It's pretty fun. I've already got my next recipe planned as soon as I get the scratch to do it. Gonna have to wash this jar out. Save one jar for transferring and one jar for fermenting. That keeps it more sanitary. Take the tape off this lid and wash it. Now, the combination of this, whoa, that was a close call. We're good. The combination of the flavor of this is interesting. I thought it was going to taste weird and gross, but it's not half bad. There's a sweetness to it. And yeah, let's have a go at it. With 11-18 winemaking yeast YouTube, you want to wait a minimum of two weeks for it to ferment. And if you have fruit in your blah, meat or wine, take it out after like 10 days max. That's what I've been doing. I've been getting great results with uh, my homemade brews. It actually smells really good. The green monster complements the uh, green jalapenos. And you get a sweetness from like a hint of banana. When you smell it, you can smell the uh, chocolate chip cookies that I put in there. I was just going with the most random ingredients I had right in front of me when I made this. And, uh, you know, it didn't turn out half bad. But uh, if you want the best results, you wait a whole month before drinking it. Right after you've uh, filtered it. And with these jars, really, it's not that difficult. You just filtering the fruit out of these big ass wine jars is so much easier than trying to do it with the plastic bottles. So I want to hold on to these because that will make the wine making a little bit easier. Some of my fans sent me some turbo yeast, so I'll be able to use that on my next my next run of uh, Pruno. Bogolum's botulum juice. Oh, geez.